Steps are just steps. Being able to not only understand the movements, but understanding the culture, really immersing yourself in the culture is everything. My name is Edwin Jamfi, AKA Eds, and my style of dance is dance hall. So two moves I'm gonna show you guys today is um, an old school move by Bogle himself called Back to Basics. And then a second move from out of Barbados called Easy Does It, and it's by Jack. Back to Basics, it's essentially like a two-step, but it's how the two-step is presented. So usually when people think two-step, they think side to side. But in the ways that Bogle did the Back to Basics, the two-step actually went diagonal front side. A step here, back, a step here, back. But where we come from, we just take when you got pain in my heart, it's got me struggling. That's just the legs, and then the upper body is just moving along with how the, le the legs are moving as well, too. And there's a little kind of snap at the feet as well, too. Do anything for the peace, but I, that if I don't make mistakes, then I can never grow, so you can't chuck a thing I don't. Easy does it, it kind of has this um, using your pelvis, and rocking back, if anything. As your lower body's rocking back, everybody's rocking forward, but on a diagonal. So it's kind of like a little forward rock. Kind of gives you this kind of like groove as your lower body is basically working as well, too. So they're all working together. I can never grow, so you can't chuck a thing I don't. Yeah, I used to hustle on the streets, but I do anything for the beat, but I that if you don't make mistakes, then you can never grow, so you can't chuck a thing I don't. One thing I really appreciated about Bogo um, growing up was that Bogo created movement that, like, you know, your mom, your uncle, your, your little sister, your, your, your aunt you could do. It's very communal. The power in itself is, you know, that escape from reality. How many hours that you're partying or how many hours you're dancing and vibing together, nothing else really matters at that point. It's just you, the music, and good company. I may not even need music, but like just hearing a beat in my mind, you know, or just hearing like the city like kind of vibe. There's a, a lot of rich history um, that I, I think that people are, aren't really aware of. And there's a reason why these movements are manifested to the way that it is today. I used to really be into basketball. I had like hoop dreams um, back then, so I really wanted to you know, make it to the NBA, but in grade 12, I actually got kicked off the basketball team um, um, for an incident that happened uh, during a tournament um, where like I broke a vending machine. Back then, I was just devastated. I was suspended for 20 days. I, I, I honestly didn't know what else to do. As time went on, I would secretly watch these Sean Paul videos. It was that guy that was just like, oh, I don't dance, you know? But I was introduced to this whole world. When I first started with dance hall, it was a bit tricky because when I was dancing with the Jamaicans, I was learning the authentic styles of uh, dance hall at that time. And, you know, they said I had two left feet. In ways of moving, I felt like there was this connection that they were trying to basically get me to, you know, connect to with the music, but also, you know, inside. Dance hall kind of gave me that outlet. Now I feel liberated.